Open AI just announced their new product, which is Codex. Codex come with two different options. One is the graphical web interface and the other one is the Codex CLI. And in this video today, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up Codex CLI on your local computer, as well as how you can run Codex Mini using your ChatGPT account or your ChatGPT API in your local machine. But before talking about Codex CLI, let's talk about what this Codex is. So Codex is a cloud-based software engineering agent that can work on many tasks in parallel, which means it can perform multiple tasks in parallel and it is powered by their new model which is codex one and it is available for chat gpt pro team and enterprise users so this means it will not be available for the free or plus plan and you can see we have the 200 dollars plan here and you have the access to research preview of codex agent so that is a bummer for the plus users or the free users and to be quite honest by the benchmarks we can see that codex one is outperforming all the open ai's previous models when it comes to coding capabilities so here's how the web interface is going to look like so you can see we're going to have a connection to our github whichever wrapper you're working on and we can select even the branches here and we have two different modes here either the ask mode where you can ask it about the repository or the planning part and then you can switch to the code mode where it can go ahead and code stuff and as you can see here it's doing three tasks in parallel with the same repo now the cool thing with codex is that it builds a container for each task so this means that it's going to separate each task in its own environment which means you're going to have virtual environments for each and every task where you can actually sandbox or contain these changes and you can see here on the top we have seven tasks running in parallel also we're going to be seeing this push button here where we can create push requests or actually push this directly to our main branch the web interface is quite interactive so these curly braces here if you hover over them you can see what and where it made a change or what script it ran in the terminal and here is the whole summary of the release by the co-founder of OpenAI. About how Codex works is it has very non-human strengths and weaknesses. And so it really means that you get much more out of it if you start thinking of, of it as not just a static tool that you just use like, you know, just I, without having to build expertise. But if you, um, if you really optimize your code base around what it can do, you start like, honestly, I, most of what Codex benefits from is just what is good software engineering practices. So as you just heard the guy, Codex is really amazing when it comes to its capabilities and it's not only benchmark based. It functions more around how our developer actually codes and what are their actual needs. So with that said, that was enough demo of the GUI. Now let's dive into the Codex CLI and run this locally on a machine. So here we are at the Codex GitHub repo and if you scroll down, you will see how easy it is to set this up locally on your machine. So you go to the quick start setup and you have to install this globally on your machine. So just copy this and all you gotta do is just pull up your terminal and paste in what you just copied and it's going to install OpenAI's codex globally on your machine that's what this g means so let's go and hit enter and it's just going to take a couple of seconds and install everything for you and there you go codex is installed locally on your machine let me clear this up so before actually using codex i want to talk about the api pricing because in the codex cli we're going to be using the api so here you can see that for developers building with codex mini latest the model is available on responses api and priced at 1.5 dollars per 1 million input tokens and six dollars per 1 million output tokens with a 75 percent prompt cash discount so if you were curious about the api cost here you go so back here in the github repo what you can do is you can set up your open as api key by using two different methods actually three different methods so the first method is going to be exporting your open ai's api key and setting this up globally for your computer or you can use a dot env file but notice that this command sets the key only for the current terminal session and if you want to export this as a default api key you can just set this up inside your shell configuration but they recommend that you go with setting this up for session i'm going to be using the third method here which is going to be signing up using the api key and what i mean by that let me show you so here you can use the first command which will only run codex or you can use the second or third command where you give codex different parameters or a task to do if you scroll down you will see what these approval modes are so in the suggest mode which is the default mode it is only going to read the files in repo and it's still gonna need approval to do anything to these files but if you give it a full auto mode it's gonna read and write file and execute shell commands as well which means you're gonna give it the full control of a computer and i wanted to test it out thoroughly so i'm just gonna go ahead with full auto here i'm just gonna go 
ahead and copy this command here. Back here in my terminal, I'm just gonna go ahead and paste that, but I'm gonna change the prompt to a simple one, explain this code base to me. And one thing that you should notice here is I'm inside a GitHub repo. So make sure that you're running Codex inside a GitHub repo to actually use its full capabilities. Now let's go ahead and hit enter and you're gonna see two different methods to sign in with Codex. Either you can sign in via your ChatGPT account or you can go ahead with pasting in your API key here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paste in my API key. And once you paste in your API key, just hit enter and Codex will start working. So here you go. This is the user command here. This is the session. This is the session ID as well as the approval mode. You can see full auto here. And we are using the OpenAI provider. And it's thinking, it's gonna take some time thinking and sometimes it gets stuck at thinking. When I was looking through the issues, you can see it has a bug where Codex Mini stuck thinking. This bug was just launched two hours ago. So it's gonna take some time to fix as Codex was just launched yesterday. So let's just give them some space to fix these small bugs. But the whole point of this video was to show you how you can set this up locally on your machine and run Codex CLI. So I hope you understood how you can do this and how you can run it using your API if you don't have a ChatGPT Pro account. With that said, I wanna wrap this video up. I'm gonna be creating a follow-up video on this. Let me know in the comments what features you want me to test and also let me know if you want me to test the Codex Cloud Platform platform and if you found this video insightful hit the like button share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below ring that notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video till then stay curious and keep exploring